Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel once again. In this video, we are going to study about one of the important concepts of electronics that is velocity saturation in the MOSFET. Before we begin with the video, I would like to introduce myself. I am Niranjan. I have graduated in electronics from RV College of Engineering and did my masters in VLSI design and embedded system from BMSC Bangalore. Thereafter, I joined Intel, worked there as product development engineer for a year and then moved to analog devices and working here as design evaluation engineer for two and a half years. That's a brief introduction about me. Let's begin with the video. So in this video, as I said, we are going to study about velocity saturation. What is velocity saturation in general? It is the maximum velocity that electron can attain at very high electric field. So what I mean to say is normally as we increase the electric field, the drift velocity of the electrons also increases, right? So as we know, the drift velocity versus electric field, if you draw the curve, there is a linear relationship between the drift velocity of the electron and the electric field. So Vd equals mu into E, right? After a certain, after a certain point or beyond a certain point when you increase the electric field, the drift velocity of electron does not increase. It saturates. It reaches the maximum velocity that is 10 power 5 meter per second. Further increase will not cause the increase in the drift velocity. And as we know, the drift velocity is directly proportional to the current. So higher is the drift velocity, more is the current. So to understand that, let's consider a long channel devices with train, source, gate and the bulk. E type substrate. So as we increase the, for a certain VGS greater than VT, as we increase the VD, what we see is we have electrons from source move towards the drain and the current from drain flows to the source and therefore the direction of IDS would be from drain to source. Now, what happens when we scale down the technology to achieve the higher uh, lower power consumptions, higher speed of operation, less area, what we do? We scale down the technology, right? So in the scaling down of the technology, the drain comes nearer to the source. Basically, the length of the channel is reduced. With the reduction in the length of the channel, what happens? Uh, AVDD, basically the supply voltage, VDS, also decreases, right? If, in spite of decrease in the supply voltage or you can say VDD drops due to as the length of the channel decreases or the technology nodes comes down to short channel devices. Now what happens in spite of this reduction in the VDD what we see is there is maximum drift velocity that electron can attain, attain okay and that drift velocity value is 10 power 5 meter per second. Now, now, if we try to analyze, so further increase, hmm, if you try to analyze the current, drain current equation versus VDS, we do not have any term that contains the drift velocity. So how do we implement the effect of velocity saturation in, in, in drain current equation or you can say the output characteristic of the MOSFET equation. So for that, what we can do is, we know that Vd equals mu into E and electric field is nothing but well, uh, voltage divided by the length, right? So Vds divided by L. Now what we can do is we can find out the Vds corresponding to the drift velocity, maximum drift velocity of the electron. So when Vd set, that is the drift velocity, maximum drift velocity can be written as, if you see here, mu into Vds sat divided by L. This is the saturation velocity, drift velocity you can see. Now from here we can say the Vds sat equals Vd sat into L divided by mu. So what we can say that Vd sat is the Vds voltage at which we see the effect of velocity saturation in the drain current equation, right? Now, 
we can make something out of these two equations and try to these three equations and try to develop an equation which contains the effect of velocity saturation in it okay so now to understand it better let's try to take two example one where vgs is small to understand the velocity saturation with the help of id versus vds curve uh, let's consider two case when case one when vgs is small and case 2 when VGS is large. VGS is small but more than threshold voltage and here VGS is large. So before we begin plotting what we, I want all of you to know VDS equals VGS minus VT is the condition for saturation right. So if see if let's say VDS1 equals VGS1 minus VT so if VGS is less then the VDS, when we sweep the VDS, we will attain the saturation or edge of the saturation, we will reach at the edge of the saturation bit earlier, I mean at lower VGS, right? It means, what I am trying to say is, as we increase the VDS for a fixed VG, VDS, for a fixed VGS, the initial curve would be something like this, the linear region, and then we reach a point let's say VDS1. So VDS1 is nothing but VGS1 minus VT. This is for VGS less VGS or you can say small VGS but more than the threshold voltage. So before we further increase, let's draw a point where we get VD sat. So this VD sat is the voltage, drain to source voltage at which we get the maximum drift velocity or the velocity saturation comes into play. It means if I increase the VDS beyond this VD sat, the current is going to be constant. It will make the current constant. It will not follow basically the linear relationship between drain current and the VDS. But what happens here? If we keep the VDS low, the saturation, the regular saturation itself comes way before the this point right therefore it saturates like this so for low vgs there is effect of velocity saturation is not significant it's not at all right as we increase the vgs further what happens this point the edge of saturation increase shifted towards the right now it's as simple as that vds is directly proportional to VGS minus VT right and VT is constant therefore higher the VGS more would be the VDS. So if I increase the VGS, VDS will shift towards the right. Right now VDS2. So the edge of saturation now here we get here. That is also way before the point at which we get the maximum drift velocity. Okay. There is some drift velocity but not the maximum drift velocity that where we see the effect of velocity saturation. Now as we further increase the graph would go like this and here, here we get VD set 3. Now let's consider the large VGS, the case 2. When VGS is pretty large, let's say that is VGS minus VT here. Okay. So how should the curve go? The curve should go. If there is no effect of velocity saturation, the curve should ideally go like this and after this point, it should saturate, right? This is the linear region and then it saturates. It's a quadratic. All the curves are quadratic. Okay. Now, after this point, it should saturate. But due to this velocity saturation, it saturates a bit before only. Okay. So this is not the real curves. So the dotted line is without velocity saturation and the dashed one is with velocity saturation. This is without velocity saturation. This is with velocity saturation. So what we can see is the effect of velocity saturation brings, bring, uh, brings down the current in the MOSFET up to a little bit, right? Therefore, what we can say is after this point, right, the effect of velocity saturation comes into picture and there is saturation is achieved a bit earlier than the regular saturation right therefore what we can see say, say is for large vgs right we see the effect of velocity saturation and that brings down the that lowers the current in the mosfet 
there is a velocity saturation in the long channel devices at as well but the velocity saturation happens much after uh, the area of interest uh, or you can say the region of operation in the mosfet where we are interested into right linear and saturation it's, it happens much after that that's why it's not uh, like significant it's or or you can say choice of interest that's all about velo now uh, we have three equations in 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 uh, drain current equation for different region of operation for linear saturation and and the velocity saturation so these two equations we are aware of but how to get a current equation with velocity sa saturation uh, is taken care of so for that if i replace vds equals vd sat we can get you can see here vd vd sat if i replace with vds if i replace with vd sat we get the current equation with velocity saturation right because vd sat here is less than vgs minus vt right now this is the current equation for velocity saturation this is with saturation the regular saturation and this is for linear now if i want to combine all the three equation into one current equation what can we do we can if you look at all the this condition these three condition which is the lower among all of them which is smaller basically if you see this quantity is lesser here just mark it like this here this is lesser and here this is lesser so whichever is lesser sorry in this this is lesser right so whichever is lesser will appear at this voltage okay vds so here vds now if i replace in this case vgs minus vt is less so replace this vds with vgs minus vt in this case vd sat is lesser saturation right so vd sat vds is replaced by vd sat so what i'm trying to say is this voltage is nothing but minimum of vd sat vgs minus vt and vds right therefore uh, we can write we can write one equi drain current equation which takes care of all the all the conditions that is mu n co x w by l v minimum into vgs minus vt minus v minimum by 2 and what is v minimum here v minimum is minimum of vgs minus vt vd sat and vds so this is one current equation that that takes care of all the thing so that's all about uh, velocity saturation in the mosfet i'll again briefly summarize it is the maximum velocity that electron can attain that electron can attain in the mosfet after which the further increase in the electric field does not increase the velocity the velocity of electron remains constant and thereby it degrades the mobility of uh, charge carrier and lowers the current passing through it okay that's all about uh, velocity saturation hope you found this video insightful and helpful stay connected see you in the next video